Bored as <coughs> Call random number. Woman answers. Hi, it's the school calling about your child. About Jack? What's wrong? Nothing. We just wanted to let you know the music teacher apparently says you've got a little Elvis on your hands. Really? Yeah. We just found him dead on the toilet. Hang up. Be horny. Go on double list. Find post for girl looking to suck dick. Think with PP. Send her a fully nude body shot with face. She asks for more and wants to know my name. Send her more and tell her my name. She then blackmails me. Threatens to send pictures of me to all my family members on Facebook. Jokes on her. I don't have Facebook. She doesn't know. I act scared and tell her to tell me where to send the money. She gives me her cash app. I report it to the authorities and tell her I need a few days to gather the money. They continue to threaten me by sending my photos of my LinkedIn account. Not too long after, they get caught. Get call from detective. Turns out it's some 23-year-old dude from California. I agree to testify in court. I am also suing him for 100k for post-traumatic stress and blackmailing. Would share pics of chat but was advised not to as it can affect the case. Going to have to await guilty charge until I can go ahead with suing. This fucker is toast. I'm still horny. Google how to improve attention span. Click on each of the links. Read for 7 seconds. Exit them after 3 seconds. Invents gunpowder, falls behind everyone else in firearm development. Invents the compass, never explores the ocean. Invents the printing press, just reproduces centuries-old literature with it. What the f was their problem? Paid $5,000 for a trip to Japan. Go to a metro. No one has sex on it. You guys lied. Work as lab intern. Need to kill rats for experiments. We needed mitochondria from neurons. Get instructed to grab a rat. Guillotine their heads off then hold it until it stops moving. Did this at least twice a day for two years. Learn later that the correct protocol was to sedate the rats before killing them so they wouldn't suffer. The professor in charge never told us to do that because he didn't want to spend money on anesthetics. My face when. Watch Predator for the first time when I was 10. The Predator is badass. Get Xbox Live. Think of cool gamer tag. XX the child Predator XX. Nobody adds my friend requests. Haven't the slightest clue why. The fear I must have invoked in the hearts of parents when I sent their kids friend requests was probably astounding. Be me. PC and game console repair as a side job. Kid no older than 12 calls. Sounds nervous, tells me that his family's PS2 isn't working. He and his mom bring it to my workshop. It won't read discs. Luckily I have a spare disc drive. Unscrew it, swap them. Console is overheating for some reason. Open the console, loads of weed and coke bags inside of it. Kid's mom looks at me shocked. I start laughing my ass off. Turns out the kid's dad was hiding his addiction behind the family's back and left some proof inside the console. Dad gets arrested. Kid gets his PS2 working again. What a great day. Be me at 15. Share PC with family. Dad screams at me. Beats me up because I installed a virus on the PC. The neighbors call the police because they saw me getting his shit kicked out. Look at PC. It's the Windows 10 update. Be me, friendless loser. Just started uni. Don't know how to meet people or make friends. See an ad for the board game club. Might as well, don't have anything to lose. Filled with the sort of people you would expect. Insufferable fat redditor types running meme campaigns. Decide to start my own game. Whack it. How hard can it be? Surprisingly some people are interested. Even more surprisingly it's mostly girls. Be me two semesters later. Running a weekly DND game with five players. Actually taking the story and roleplay seriously. Like critical role but good. Use NPCs to voice my struggles with mental health. My face when a girl LARPing as an elf gives better advice than my therapist. My face when they invite me into their social circle. My face when I get invited to parties. My face when a group of really cool girls and guys are excited to see me every week. My face when I have my first kiss with one of them. My face when a game I thought was for the lowest of losers turned me into a normie. 
Makes strength and size irrelevant. Makes your knife irrelevant. 2007. Someone kept eating my lunch out of the fridge at work. I got tired of it. I poisoned my sandwich with mole poison. Look that shit up. And rubbed raw chicken all over the lunch meat. Slapped that puppy in the fridge with a fake name on it. It disappeared before lunch. Heard nothing until next day. Apparently ambulances showed up on third shift and took a guy out on a stretcher. He had to get his stomach pumped and was out of work for a month. I had never even met this guy. He was stealing my food before leaving at the shift change and then eating it the following night. Thank you. Don't steal my food.